That's what you gotta do when your lens is all foggy and stuff. Hey, all right, this is like one of the first vlogs I've done in a long time. Uh, the reason is because I didn't have the time, so it's been a long time. Um, and yeah, my lip is still a little limp, but it's okay. I, I sort of sort of growing on me. I'm at Fort Wadsworth in Staten Island, uh, and by the Verrazano Bridge right here. The fo you know what? Instead of me just telling you, I'm going to show you. Here's the fort. And that right there is the Verrazano Bridge. That is the second longest extension bridge in the third, I don't know, but I know it's the longest in the United States. So contrary to what people believe, the Golden Gate Bridge is not the longest. This bridge right here, connecting Staten Island, which is that way, and Brooklyn, which is that stretch right there, that is the longest extension bridge in the nation. How do I know that? Because I'm proud of my borough, or Staten Island. That's how I know. That there is... Manhattan, New York. Okay, over there is Jersey, and that those yellow boats. That's this is still part of Staten Island. Focus. There we go. That's the southern part of Brooklyn. Yep. And here is Fort Wadsworth. This is Fort Wadsworth right here. This is a quinceanera or a baptism or something over there. But this is where the fort is. This is where they fought many awards. And this is Fort Wadsworth. Um, I don't come out here too often. It's not that far from where I live, but I don't come out here too often. Um, there's no particular reason why I just don't make it out here that often. And I, I really should just to get some downtime. Really nice area. Um, the sun is out. It's a beautiful day. Uh, oh. <coughs> there's my bag. Nonetheless, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I would love to fly my drone here. But, um... With the, the, the city law state that I can't fly my drone in New York City. I'm not sure if it's in the five boroughs or if it's just Manhattan. Because if it's just Manhattan, which is over there, I can probably fly it here. But I don't want to take a chance because if I fly it, I don't want it getting confiscated. Yeah. So sometimes I just sit in certain places and just relax and chill. Um, yeah. My boys have, Nathaniel has plans today and uh, Nathaniel, uh, Nathaniel has plans today and Gabriel is still in Florida with uh, my mom, which I'm going to go see them in 15 days. I'm flying out there, 15 days. Um, this here is for my cell phone. I have the Galaxy S8 and the reason why I'm showing, going to do this is because I want you guys to see my vlogging camera. So I'm going to set this up also right next to it so that I can show you guys my vlogging camera. And this is what I use. This is uh, my vlogging setup. So I have the Joby Gorilla Pod. I have to replace this because although these are very versatile and very good to use, um, they don't last that long and they tend to crack. The plastic part tends to crack. So I'm going to upgrade this to the metal one. Um, but nonetheless, it, it still works. Uh, it's versatile. Uh, so I use the Gor Joby Gorilla Pod. I have uh, the Rode video mic right here. Yeah, be careful. Okay, so um, I just put this one and another one I had on warrant. It's on warranty, so I submitted or mailed out my other microphone to get fixed because the input wasn't working anymore. But uh, be careful when you buy it because you can be getting it on Amazon, even Amazon Prime, right? What? Um, some people are making fake microphones, fake micro road microphones. So uh, if you're buying it from a third party seller where it says fulfilled by Amazon, before you get this microphone, which is a very good mic, the Rode video mic, go on Amazon.com, check to see the buyer and then go on Rode.com to see if that buyer is on the authorized reseller list. 
okay? Because if they're not on the reseller list, even if you buy it off of Amazon, if it's fulfilled by somebody on Amazon that's not a registered road reseller, they won't accept the warranty. So I got this uh, microphone, this one here, from Amazon itself. Not a third party seller on Amazon, but Amazon itself, so it worked out. And the other one I got from a third party seller, which is a registered reseller of Rode mics, according to Rode. So uh, I'm getting one of my microphones fixed. I, I use these microphones because <clears throat> they're inexpensive, they're $150, and they're great microphones. They're great. And last but not least, I use the Samsung NX30. They stopped making this camera. You're not going to find this anymore. This here broke. This little piece here came with a latch. So <clears throat> it doesn't work anymore. I mean, it works. It holds a battery, it holds a memory card. Probably going to Velcro this, find a way to Velcro it here so that's more secure. But um, nonetheless, it works just as if it was fixed. So it's fine. And another purchase I'm extremely excited about is my Xeon Smooth Q. Now, I love this gimbal. I love this gimbal. However, it's plastic. I think the motor is strong. However, there was a piece here that came off and I can't find it. It came off. It holds the phone snug. Even, this does a good job of holding the phone. But there's a piece here that actually connects into the phone. And it holds it, it secures it a little better. But I find it, that this alone secu secures it just fine. However, this came off and I can't find it. So I'm not particularly happy about that. But this thing is an amazing gimbal. $140, you can get it now on Amazon, pre-order, for $125. They're looking to sell these fast. Everybody's buying it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up for you guys. And then I'm gonna show you guys some footage with it. The good thing about this is that it works with the, the case. I had a I have another case where what's this? I have another case that um that has a, a pop socket. It doesn't work with pop sockets. So if you have a pop socket on your case, you may want to get another case that doesn't have a pop socket on it. This way you can use it um, properly. See? So now first thing you have to do is you have to balance it. The balancing is real easy. There's one knob here that you turn. Okay, it's really tight. Turn there. And there's a little weight here. See? So that's pretty balanced. So then I tighten it. Then I hold the on button, which is this red button right here. This red button. I hold that on, and this is what it does. <gasps> Boom. Boom. And then it records a very seamless, like smooth video. You guys are going to see that right now.
You see, this here is a very sleek, it's sleek, it's nice. It keeps your movement slow and steady. One thing I find though that it, if you if you move this way too too quick, it seems like it seems to catch up. So when you are panning, right, you should pan very slow. So when you're panning. So when you pan, you want to pan very slow. Because what tends to happen is that it will, there's my bicycle, it will jerk. So if you go too fast, you find that it's going to try to catch up and you'll see a little jitter. However, if you go slow, slow movements, slow and steady wins the race, slow and steady wins the race, slow and steady wins the race. Do that. You get nice move shots. There's my bicycle. It even has a means for you to control the gimbal and move the, the phone up and down. You can also get a GoPro um, connection for this so you can have smooth video with your GoPro. The dope thing about this camera is that it has image stabilization and this, so that coupled with this tends to, to make the image or the video even smoother. Which is another thing that I like about the Samsung NX30. The image stabilization built into this camera is phenomenal. It is. Compared to other cameras. There's a couple back there. I don't know what they're doing. But do you see them? I don't know if you know who they are. You may. But... I have a soft spot for couples. It is what it is.